Okay, Digital Warriors, welcome back. Here we are uh, continuing on with our M1 Abrams tutorials and Steel Beasts. Um, this is uh, manual range entry. So, if you find that your laser range finder, your LRF, is damaged, but you still have a, functionally, a functioning ballistic computer, you can still use the GPS by estimating the range of the target and manually entering it into the ballistic computer. In Steel Beast, the M1A1 has a fully modeled interior, so you must manually enter the range in the same way a real gunner would, by using a ballistic computer control panel, the CCP. While looking at the interior view of the gunner's position, uh, it's off to the right, and you can scan to the right to locate the CCP, which looks like a keypad, and click the range button. Next, click the digits of the range you want, and then click the enter button. Go back to the GPS, F2 key, and you should now see the manually entered range at the bottom of the site. Aim and fire as you otherwise normally would. In this tutorial, your tank will have a damaged LRF. Practice manually entering the range into the ballistic computer and firing at the uh, presented targets. So you may find when you're playing Steel Beast that your tank takes damage uh, in your LRF. Your laser range finder, you know, goes kaput and you can't lace targets anymore. Or you might burn out your laser, in which case your LRF is uh, no good and you're going to have to manually enter range. So let's go ahead and jump in here. <coughs> if we hop in the site, we can see here the range down here in the green, 1,200 meters, and you can see up here in the top right, damage report, the laser rage fighter is kaput. So if we hop out into the interior, and you know, in Steel Beast you can pan around in the interior of the tank. If you look over here, this is the CCP, this is the, the, the ballistic computer. And so let's, uh, let's take a look at a tank here. Let's look at, uh, let's zoom in on this dude here. So we'll look at this tank way out in the distance here, and we're going to estimate the range to him. So I'm going to back out of the site by hitting F1, and you're going to press the range knob, and you can see it lights up here, and then enter the range that you think he's at. My guess is going to be 2350, so 2350 meters, and you hit enter. If we jump back into the site, we can see, oops, we can see the range that we entered down here, 2350. So let's go ahead and put the crosshairs on the target and take a shot. Target. That was a good hit. That was a good range estimate. Alright, so let's take a look at this guy and see what he's at. And as you heard, just like in the previous tutorial with the TC, he's calling for a heat round next. But we've got a, uh, a Sabo round loaded in the breach. So we're going to hit F1, look over here, hit range. My guess is he's going to be about 1,700 meters. Hop back in the site. Fire. Target. Solid hit. Switch down to heat. Fire again. Target. And he wants us to re-engage again. Target. He should be dead now. Alright. So we're going to leave this tank here, and he's calling for a Sabo round next. I'm going to say this guy's probably about 1,000 meters. No, well, let's go 1,200. Alright, we're going to fire. Go to Sabo. We can actually drop that down just a tad. There it is. Let's see where he wants us to go next. Alright, so we can hit a moving target here. Um, we're going to back out of the site. Let's go range. Let's go 15. Actually, let's go 16. Back into the site. Track him. That should hit him as soon as he gets it reloaded. Track this guy and hit him. No, we're way short. Alright, so range. Let's go 1800. Back in the site. Dump that lead. Still way short. Alright, let's go 22. Fire. 
lead him a little bit. Oh, this barrel. Back at him. Did slow him down, though. He's dead now. Right, so this guy's definitely further away. So let's pop in. Let's go 2450. Nope. Way short. Let's go 2800. Get way out there. Oh shoot! You know what? Might help if we were indexed the right uh, round. That's gonna be way high. Let's go. Uh, 1800. I screwed that all up. I didn't hear him call for the heat round. A little bit over. Fire. 1650. Target. Yeah, that one's right on target there. Fire. Right, so heat is in the breach. This one's definitely a little bit further out. Over. Not quite that far though. Go even two thousand. Still over. Eighteen fifty. There it is. All right. So that's how you manually enter and manually enter range calculations, guys, in the ballistics computer. That comes in really handy. Um, you know, because that LRF will get damaged, your vehicle's going to take damage, your sights are going to take damage, and you got to know how to use these uh, backup systems uh, to put rounds on target. So, all right, guys, as usual, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.